You may have seen a few posts recently talking about my book, The One Day Body Upgrade. It's been in a few press releases, it's been in a few publications, it's been on a few websites and it's been on a few podcasts. I've been asked the same question about 10 times when going through these interviews. And that is, Ollie, you say you don't like fad diets. You say you don't like gimmicks. You say you don't like these pyramid marketing schemes that essentially make people unhealthy. Why have you got a book? Why do you base your whole ethos on something called the one day body upgrade? Not just in your book, but throughout your revitalization blueprint mastermind as well. And I could answer that simply. That is, whenever you ask a question on social media, you get 50 different answers from 50 different people, probably about 45 of them, if it's a health question, aren't actually following their own advice, aren't in pretty decent shape, aren't living with balance, with health. They're all overwhelmed. You are probably overwhelmed with the amount of information out there. I like to take this information, find the one thing that is most important, which is slowing your results down, potentially stalling and stopping them in their tracks. One thing, whether that is simply getting a grip and knowing what food you're eating, whether that is simply increasing your vegetable intake, increasing your fruit, your fiber intake, getting your nutrients in there, whether it's even simply getting an omega-3 tablet in each day or a multivitamin, these things are small things. And the problem that people have is that when they want to make a massive impact, just like when I was 270 pounds and I dropped 100 pounds, that did not happen overnight. And if you'd have told me you need to go to the gym five times a week, you need to eat chicken and broccoli, weigh out every single ingredient that you're ever going to eat for the rest of your life, go to bed by nine o'clock and wake up at six and do 45 minutes of cardio every single day. If you'd have told me that, I wouldn't have lost 100 pounds. But I simply started by doing one thing. And that one thing wasn't even looking at my food, wasn't even going to the gym, wasn't even focusing on exercise. No, the first thing I'd done was so simple. And that was to look at my body, my life, my health, one single day at a time. My upgrade happened one single day at a time, not a week. Not a month, not a year, one day. Focus on one day at a time. If that means you are then going to track your food one day at a time, do so. If you are going to win your life one day at a time, do so. One meal, one bite, one day at a time. Don't worry about completing the week right. Just worry. In fact, don't worry at all. Focus on getting one day right. If you can get one day right, which every single person can, you can get two days right. Then you can get three days right and four days right. Start building a streak, which we do not want to break. But we know you've got one day right. And inevitably, life happens. We need that balance. So if you do break that streak because it's your wife's birthday, because it's your anniversary, because it's your child's birthday, and you have some cake or you have those nachos because nachos are life. And I didn't choose a nacho life. It chose me. You break that streak. You simply focus one day at a time to get back on it. You don't try and get back on it. You get back on it. You don't try to get a week right, you get one day right. One day can be right, 
with the smallest percentage of improvement, you can win the day. You can own that day. And when I get asked, why do you have a book called The One Day Body Upgrade, which has become an international best-selling book? It's because we only need to focus on one day at a time. You're only here, you're only now, in this very moment. It is your decision to focus on that one day. And when people ask the question in different forums and they get 50 different people giving 50 pieces of advice they've never taken themselves, ask the person that focuses on you, that doesn't want you to be overwhelmed, and that's lost the hundred pounds. Because it may not just be you have to have it in your heart. Your mind has to be in the right place too. And I guarantee when you're losing that weight, one of the reasons you haven't lost it yet is because you're scared of those mind games that are going to happen inevitably. Regardless of how strong a person you are. Focus on that. One day, one day at a time. The one day body upgrade.